and matters around the black galaxies and a free banner star like the way one thing so bad to see in the world cup where reports uh, that he spent down a contract with FC Zurich. Hearts of Oak have also announced that Fia Bani has extended his contract with the club. Interesting matters arising, and we're trying to get on the phone lines with sports person so that we can speak to him. Yes, yeah, so we are going to the phone lines now to speak to Ibrahim Sani Dar, the former communications officer of the Ghana Football Association. We're trying to find out how Bani is going to be playing for Zurich and for Hearts of Oak and in the Chan tournament as well. Good morning, Sani. Good morning. I hope you're well. I'm really well. Are you happy to be here? Many happy returns. I'm well as well. The Hamatan is biting, but we're good. <laughs> 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 right. So we saw your tweet um, about Barnier playing for Zurich or being signed on to Zurich and still playing for Hearts of Oak or for the Chan tournament. Can you elaborate on what you meant? I think that yesterday FC Zurich announced the finding of um, Hearts of Folk um, striker Emmanuel Fie Banya. And uh, as you all know, he, his contract with the Phobian was expired. And you would have noted that during the day yesterday, Hearts of Folk announced that they had extended the contract of Banya. Right. Now, what that, what that means is that in football terms, a player is allowed by the law to start speaking with clubs six months before his contract expires. Okay. And Arthur Hook knew that if, um, you know, the date has elapsed, they wouldn't be able, one, to keep Banya again, and two, he would go on a free, uh, on a free transfer, and then three, crucially, when he moves abroad, they don't earn anything. Right. And I think that what um, the player mm -hmm. has done mm -hmm. was to extend his contract with House of Folk just to enable them to earn some money in mm -hmm. his transfer. He could have worked on a free and uh, he could have perhaps even earned some more money. If he goes as a free agent, he would be able to negotiate more on his personal terms. So it's aching to the deal that um, mm -hmm. you know, some House of Folk players have done in the past, just as a favor to the club, mm -hmm. but not as, you know, as a matter of certainty that has a whole own, own the player. Right. Um, you, you've seen in the past the players, you know, having their contracts expiring, mm -hmm. and a lot of has a whole players have done this in just the recent past, that over 20 players have left the club without extending their contracts, and then suddenly you see them signing for clubs abroad. We Which is not healthy for the league, you would say. It is not healthy for the league, it's not healthy for the club, because if you imagine you having the player for this long, mm -hmm. and the player leaving, you know, um, the mm -hmm. club on a free, which means when the player leaves, the club ends, the club ends nothing. Right. So on this call, the player has done a favor to the club by extending the contract, so the player at the team can also end. Mm. Um, an example of this was what Mahatma Oti did years ago when he left us. Mm -hmm. He knew that he can work on a free and earn a lot of money, but he extended his contract just so that they can also earn some money from his transfer. Right. Amazing. You, so you term this as loyalty, even though others who argue that how is his commitment towards Hearts of Oak and Zurich going to be divided, or how is he going to manage that? But you see this as loyalty, and you encourage that players do that instead of leaving us free agents. Yes, I say that loyalty because um, one, he could have left on a free, and he would have earned much more money. Right. But because he's loyal to the club, he decide, he decided that look, let me extend the contract so how the book can earn the money. But the truth of this is that there are lots of things in there that has the book has to let us do. First of all, that why do you wait for a player um, to get this stage? I mean, let's say a year into his contract, you know this player is performing well, he's a national under twenty player, national under twenty three player. Is doing well, mm -hmm. you should start contract extension talks with these players. And right. we've seen this. Afutu left recently, has a book and nothing. And several players have done that in mm. recent past. 
So I think that it's one area that management of has to go to start looking at. You cannot rely on the magnanimity of these players or the favors of these players or the love they have for the club alone. This mm. is an era where you spend money in grooming these players, in giving them the platform to show themselves to the world. If you see that a player is playing well, is, is demonstrated beyond, you know, everybody's mm. expectation that he's a good player, when you put him on a salary of, let's say, 1,000 cities, you have to start thinking, this player is worth more than 1,000 cities. I should be paying him three, four, or 5,000 cities. Give him a better contract. Then you put the contract before him, extend it to maybe five years. That will give you a stronger hand to be able to negotiate more. I'm not sure how much House of Oak end from this, but these are big lessons House of Oak and other clubs. And other clubs, can certainly. Take, can, can take from, from this move. Certainly. Thank you so much. You have given us insights into this. This is something other clubs should learn from. How to keep players for longer, invest in them, and so that when you're leaving, they didn't leave as free agents. But the, the club is able to make some money of the players. And he talked a lot about loyalty of the players. And Free Ebanye has demonstrated that as well. We did wish we would have seen him a lot more in the World Cup. But the AFCON is coming as well, so I'm sure we'll see the star boy in there. But we're speaking to Ibrahim Sani, Dara the former communications officer for the Ghana Football Association about Evie Banier signing on to FC Zurich but still playing for Hearts of Oak and will be featuring in the Chan tournament which starts in January um, on the 15th of January actually.